So you're new to BMS and you're about to start your first multiplayer flight. Even though you're nervous, you manage to start the jet up correctly and you bravely announce, four has a green jet over VHF. But right before you taxi, your lead tells you to input some information into your IDM. What in the fuck is a IDM? In this tutorial, I'll be going over the basics of IDM and what all those numbers mean on the IDM page. So what is IDM? IDM is simply put a wireless network that connects our F-16s together. Once connected, we can share our locations, targeting information, and more stuff that I'm not going to cover in this video. But before we go further, we need to understand some basics. The first thing is, what is a package? A package is multiple flights working on the same mission. Okay, well, what's a flight? A flight is up to four planes who are each other's wingmen. Now, before we get into the mission, we're going to bring up the ATO. I'm going to show you what our package is. Our package is right here. We're package one. Our package contains three flights. It contains a Mud Hen flight, a Mustang flight, and a Cyborg flight. Now, you're going to ask me why is all this important. Well, you'll find out once we get into the air. We're going to be Mud Hen 2, the first flight of our package, and we're going to be the first guy, the flight lead. So we'll hit briefing Arrive one more time. Not... And just as a reminder, we're mud hen to the first flight of our package. Let's hit takeoff. So before we get started, I want to go over one more thing. Um, IDM is a type of data link in the F-16. So if you hear me say data link, yeah, I'm talking about the IDM. It's basically the exact same thing. So anyways, first things first. By default, your IDM system already has your flight set into it. So what that means is by default, if you've done everything correctly using your DTC, you should have number one, two, three, and four of your flight in your system. So the next question is, well, how do we activate this? Well, the first thing you need to do is make sure your entire flight is on the same uniform channel. In this instance, we're in uniform six, UHF six, and so is our wingman. So to initialize data link, you're gonna press and hold comp switch left for longer than half a second. Look at the right hand MFD, you can see my wingman pop up. Two, three, and four, and also their altitude below them, 21,000. Now, data link by default isn't continuous, so as you watch the MFD, you're gonna see them disappear and they don't come back. So you might ask, well, how do we keep them reappearing so we know where they're at at all times? Well, come over here to the left hand side on our FCR page, and you can see it says a sign right now, ASGN, click that to continuous. Now we're going to press and hold, comp switch left again. And now it's going to bring up our flight's data link information over and over. Now, some people find that annoying, so for now we're going to go back to demand mode. So next question is, well, what else can we do with this? Well, on our FCR, if we have an air contact, we can lock them up. And if we hit our data link Mustang switch, comp five, switch five. left, we can transmit the information and they can see it on their FCR and they can see it on the HSD of their F-16s. Now, if we're in demand mode, excuse me, if we're in assign mode, we can also lock up a target and hit a number and on their HSD, it'll display a number above the contact we have locked up. This is pretty useful. You know, I can hit two and I can send my data link information and be like two, engage your target and he'll see a two above the target and he'll know it's his target. And I can lock up another guy and say three, engage your target. And I can hit three and I'll put a three above his target. So that's pretty useful. Uh, the demand mode, we're not going to go over what that does right now. It's not that important. Um, and for now, that's everything we need to talk about for our flight. This next part of the video, we're going to go over how to add other flights in your package to your IDM so you can see what the big picture looks like. All right, so let's add the other flights in our package to our IDM. First thing you're gonna do, come over to your ICP and hit list. Then you're gonna press enter to bring up the data link page. The first page is dedicated to the air to ground. Um, we're gonna skip this page by hitting sequence on our dauber switch. And the second one is the interflight page, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna do is check out how many contact slots you have. You've got a total of eight contacts possible in your IDM system. Number one through number four is already slotted for one, 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 two, one, three, and one, four. Now, as I said, we are the first flight of our package. So what this really means is currently 
first flight's first aircraft, first flight's second aircraft, first flight's third aircraft, and first flight's fourth aircraft are in our IDM, our own flight. That's why we can see them whenever we press the data link request, the comm switch left. In order to add the other flights, we'll hit down on the dauber switch until we come over to contact slot number five. Now, we're gonna come down here and look at our knee board and we can see we have two other flights in our package. We have a second flight and a third flight. Now, if you don't have your WDP set, you can just look at the briefing page and you can see how many uh, flights you have in your package. So we're gonna add second flight and third flight to our IDM. Now, as you can see, there's only four more slots available. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press two, one, enter, and that will add the second flight's first aircraft. And then we're gonna hit two, three, enter to add the second flight's third aircraft. Then we're gonna press three, one, enter, and three, three, enter which adds third flight first aircraft and third flight's third aircraft. We're all done here. We hit return on the dauber to go back to the default DED page. Now, as we said before, in order to see all of our flight members, our own wingmen on our data link, we had to make sure we were on the same UHF channel. Same thing applies to other flights in your package. Everyone needs to be on the same uniform channel. With that said, Everyone's on the same channel, so we're going to press and hold comm switch left for greater than half second. And if we look at the MFD, here's our friendlies. And now the green contacts are other flights in our package. There's 2 1, 2 3, 3 1, 3 3, along with their altitudes. And that's how you pull up other flights on your package. So next time your flight lead tells you to input some data and he gives you some numbers, Hopefully this video helps you understand what he's telling you to do. And that concludes this tutorial.